been running probably seriously for the last two to three years. I started off really struggling to run mile, two miles, and strangely, very quickly got hooked. I couldn't tell you now what I think about during a four hour run. You very much get into a zone. It gives you the time to switch off, see places that you don't normally see, you definitely don't see by car, and just to really go and explore. My name is Danielle Ryder and I'm a mechanical engineering graduate in EOS. I was very attracted to INEOS because it is very much an organisation where everyone is needed, everyone's valued, so even as a graduate when you first come into SIT, what you're doing is valuable from day one. Having kind of a fresh look means that people, they're often quite interested in what your opinion is. You get chucked in at the deep end very early on, but there's always a support network behind you. With INEOS, you have so many options. Furthering your development, and if you want to try something new or experience something new, they will try and help you to do that. I've moved around quite a lot. I've tried different roles, and I don't envisage that stopping. So I was lucky enough to take part in the graduate Namibia trip, which was an absolutely insane experience. It's one of the hardest things I've ever done. Soft sand, rocky terrains, steep descents. You'd have huge lows at times, but no matter how many times you'd gone through that cycle in the day, you'd finish on this insane high. And just the fact that your body can physically do that and to learn that about yourself is, is something to be proud of, that you'd actually achieved it. I think Ineos like people who aren't scared. If it's something that's kind of just outside the comfort zone or a bit further, and if there's a question of, is she gonna be able to do it? It just gives me that extra incentive to really push and achieve it ultimately.